Okay, we're going to give this one more shot. We're going to talk about microtransactions. We're going to talk about the state of the gaming industry. Uh, but before we do, I just wanted to make a quick reference to a video I made not too long ago. When I first heard Destiny was going to implement a real money cash shop where you buy this currency that is called silver using real money to buy items in the game, well, I quickly made a video uh, made a couple of predictions which we'll uh, talk about in just a second uh, and ultimately went to a couple of forums and blogs and addressed my concern and I'm going to assume when it comes to people interacting within these forums and blogs uh, the Bungie website, YouTube comments, our Destiny players including myself but unfortunately I fell within the minority when it comes to rejecting uh, this particular kind of microtransaction system we're using real money to buy items within a AAA game. And while many people were not embracing this microtransaction system, they were certainly defending it. Uh, whether they realized it or not, I will give you a couple of examples of the kind of dialogue that was used. Um, things like, hey, you're not forced to pay for it. Hey, it's uh, just cosmetics. It doesn't affect gameplay. Hey, it's just emotes. Now, the kind of argument I was bringing to the table, again, there weren't um, many of us, uh, but pretty much something like this. It's not good that a AAA game that... Uh, is being sold on an installment plan is now implementing this kind of a system it's not about the emotes it's more or less about the kind of system uh, they're implementing and we cannot know for certain if it's going to start at emotes and end at emotes in my video I made a couple of predictions of where I think this will ultimately lead in terms of the kind of items they will be selling for real money um, one of them already seems to somehow uh, be in effect in some way, shape, or form. I predicted that consumables will be uh, for sale. And if you go to their emote shop, if you go and visit Tess, you will see that although they're not selling consumables at the moment, there is a no refund policy uh, for consumables because I guess you can return emotes as long as it's within a certain time frame you don't get your actual cash back but you will get your silver back uh, and it did say in small print that consumables do not have that same um, kind of policy or refund policy I should say am I trying to claim that I'm some sort of whiz kid or a fucking fortune teller because I uh, talked about the consumables and now there's indications that consumables are probably going to be a thing absolutely not a zombie could have figured this out. All you really need to do is pay attention to history, uh, pay attention to certain kinds of business models. Uh, companies tend to use business models that work, okay? Uh, very rarely will uh, companies just, you know, test the waters and um, dip their toes into something brand new. They often go with something they know works and then might tweak it a little bit here and there. Here's the thing about uh, Destiny. It's a AAA game being sold on a layaway plan, um, so they're not going to flood the store with every single item that they plan to sell us. They're not going to put them all in the store at one time. Uh, a lot of people are confused by this. They think just because they see emotes and this, you know, they're not. Here's the thing: Bungie never said they're just only going to sell emotes. You guys are assuming this. Okay, uh, and there's implications that they are going to sell other stuff. Here's the thing, they're not going to put everything in the store for sale at one time because it could have negative implications across the board from a marketing standpoint. Um, could have a negative backlash uh, when it comes to the media. It makes more sense to gradually add items over time. I personally predict that they will not add any kind of change um, when it comes to the kind of items they're selling. I think they're going to stick to emotes at least until the holidays. 
okay uh, at least until uh, maybe a week before Christmas but I could be wrong uh, knowing Bungie knowing Activision I should say anything is possible but John they're giving you free silver they're giving you a free one doesn't that count for something yes it does uh, from a business standpoint not for a consumer standpoint here's the psychology in play when it comes to that kind of stuff it's kind of similar to a drug dealer giving away the first one free you believe that somehow because you got something let's say an emote is worth so let's just say for the sake of argument it's worth a dollar okay and you got one free in your mind I'm not speaking for everybody but this has been known to happen in your mind sometimes you might convince yourself that you're up a dollar so that makes you more willing to spend a dollar by giving you one free they're not losing anything as a matter of fact they're increasing their chances dramatically of you reaching in your pocket I think I have a very meager intelligence. I'm not trying to sit here and act like I'm smarter than you. Okay, I just am very, very uh, aware that because they give me something that's supposedly worth one dollar does not mean if I spend a dollar that I'm actually breaking even. That's how this particular strategy works okay the buy one get one free very similar mechanisms to it when it comes to the psyche all I'm trying to do is to let you people know that the last place microtransactions should exist is within the triple A sector no place for that and although you might not be welcoming these kind of uh, microtransactions and things like that when you're out there on forums when you're out there uh, defending them because you are whether it's indirectly or directly you are whenever you say something like well hey it's no big deal it's just cosmetics it's just skin it doesn't affect the gameplay uh, you don't have to buy them you might as well buy them uh, because what you're pretty much doing is showing these companies that um, you're not going to resist and once they see that uh, you're opening the floodgates and I'm just trying to give you a warning that um, if we don't get on top of this and start saying fucking no uh, things might get a little hairy I care about gaming uh, I'm very passionate about it I'm getting older I just don't want the younger generation to have to experience gaming in such a fucking cash grab, such a greedy, um, uh, it's just disgusting. And um, again, I'm not here to try to insult anybody. I'm not here to try to, um, you know, hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that. I'm just here trying to open your eyes to maybe see things a different way. Uh, because you cannot argue that um, microtransactions within AAA games uh, is a bad thing. You can't dispute that. It absolutely is. Nothing anybody says can change that because it is absolute fact. It's not a myth. It's not a rumor. It's not theory. It's a fact. And I hope that uh, you guys will start telling them to take the microtransactions and to stick them up their ass because you're not going to buy their fucking games if they come packaged with them doesn't matter what they are skins doesn't matter you just don't want that kind of stuff and you're not going to buy games that have it once you start to do that well guess what things might start to actually change uh, if you don't do that, uh, things will still change, but uh, in a much more dramatic and uh, negative fashion. Let's just put it that way. And I don't think you're ultimately going to like the results in about a year or so. Um, so that's all I got. I love you all. Be safe. And until next time, uh, take it easy.